You may get a question which dis, uh, says describe the forces between molecules of let's say a methane and b ammonia. So we're looking at the intermolecular forces within uh, the body of methane and the intermolecular forces within ammonia. So what we've got to do to start off with is try and think about the intermolecular forces that we have uh, between molecules of methane. So we've got to make some decisions as far as this is concerned. Now what I suggest we do is we start by thinking about the strongest intermolecular force. Hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bond. Now well it's got hydrogen so that's a good start mm -hmm. but it doesn't have hydrogen attached to an electronegative element. Carbon, sorry, um, it's attached to carbon. It's not attached to nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine. And of course we don't have an available lone pair of electrons so it's not hydrogen bonding. So we can forget about hydrogen bonding it is not that one. Next one of course is dipole dipole for that we've got to have a polar molecule. Do we have a polar molecule? Well no we don't for two reasons. Firstly um, we have very little electronegativity difference between carbon and hydrogen so therefore we don't have any polar bonds and secondly, it's a symmetric molecule, it's tetrahedral around the central carbon, and therefore uh, it's going to be a nonpolar. So we don't have any dipole dipole interactions. Therefore, the only thing that we're left with is Van der Waals forces. And everything has Van der Waals forces. So therefore, we must have those weak dipole induced dipole interactions for methane. So that's the methane one. What, uh, what about ammonia? Let's just consider ammonia. Now, NH3. Again, let's take the possibilities. We can take it the other way around if you like. So we've got the three possibilities. Van der Waals, dipole, dipole and hydrogen bonding. Well we know that everything has Van der Waals forces so let's give that a tick so it works that way. Dipole, dipole, well yes there's an electronegativity difference between nitrogen and hydrogen so polar molecules and of course it's a, uh, a pyramidal structure here so therefore yeah it looks like dipole dipole interactions but the trump of course is the fact that nitrogen here is one of the three most electronegative elements in the periodic table and it has an available lone pair of electrons so hydrogen bonding is the one that will predominate in that particular case.